Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. The physical search for little Cleo Smith in Western Australia is being scaled back. Detectives are increasingly of the belief that the four-year-old was abducted from a campground at Carnarvon to the north of Perth. Cleo's mother, Ellie, says she still can't believe how it could have happened. How did someone come into that tent and to hate Cleo? How? How could someone feel that they could do that to someone How could someone take a child? The Federal Cabinet is expected to formally announce the approval of Australia's 2050 net zero emissions target. The Prime Minister will head to Glasgow at the end of the week for a global climate summit. The Nationals struck a deal with Scott Morrison to support the plan, including the return of Keith Pitt to the Cabinet as Resources Minister. Mr Morrison told Parliament Australia's already reduced carbon pollution levels by 20%. When Australia reduces emissions and Australian farmers and those in rural and regional Australia do the heavy lifting, I think they should expect this place, Mr Speaker, to respect them. A date is due to be announced for the reopening of borders between Victoria and New South Wales. From the 1st of November, it's expected fully vaccinated Melbourne residents will get free access into New South Wales. And a third Melbourne fan has been jailed in Western Australia for attending the AFL Grand Final. The 32-year-old man used altered documents to secure a border pass into WA. To sport, fast bowler Josh Hazelwood is confident a few days of intense red ball training will have him up to full speed for the Ashes series. He's played no first-class cricket since April. The Matildas are being warned not to be overconfident going into their second match against Brazil tonight in Sydney after their 3-1 to victory on Saturday. And the final 24-horse field for next week's Melbourne Cup is taking shape. 35 acceptances have now been confirmed for the $8 million two-mile handicap at Flemington. In entertainment news, Hilaria Baldwin has posted a tribute to cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who was accidentally shot by Hilaria's husband, Alec Baldwin, on the set of the movie Rust. Hilaria took to Instagram to say it's impossible to express the shock and heartache of such a tragic accident. Chrissy Teigen has revealed that the family take her late son's ashes with them whenever they travel. The chef and her singer husband, John Lennon, lost their newborn son, Jack, in September last year. And a pair of Michael Jordan's old trainers have sold for nearly $1.5 million at auction. The Nike Air ships were worn by the NBA superstar early in his career with the Chicago Bulls in 1984. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.